Today we're gonna to be talking about different warranties, paint, substrate, and weather tight. I'm Jeff Pop with Sheffield Metals. This is the Metal Roof Design Series. Today we're going to be talking about different types of warranties Sheffield offers, uh, paint, substrate, and weather type warranties. So the first thing we're going to discuss is your substrate warranties. Your substrate warranty is going to be on the material itself, whether it's galvalume or if it's aluminum. We offer two warranties for Galvalum. We offer an AZ50 warranty, which is for your painted products, and we offer an AZ55 warranty, which is acrylic coated for your non-painted products. Both those warranties are 25 years and six months long. They cover things as far as corrosion, rupturing, perforating, structural failure. Uh, there are distance requirements and how far away you are from saltwater environments. They're listed in the warranty themselves. Um, and those are the main things that they cover. Obviously, there are conditions that could cause things to fail prematurely, and those are noted in the warranty as well, and we use those as safety factors so we don't install those products in those environments. When it comes to aluminum, your aluminum substrate warranty is only good for painted products, and that's a 20-year, six-month warranty. You know, aluminums are designed for saltwater environments, and that's where you're gonna use instead of galvalume. What you don't want to do is install any aluminum beyond the water's edge, because that's going to void your substrate warranty, and most likely your paint warranty as well. When it comes to Galvalume products, you have certain distances from saltwater environments that we discussed, and those distances are you know, usually within 1,500 feet of a coastline with breaking surf. So you don't want to go within that 1,500 foot parameter, because that's going to cause you to lose your warranty on the product, and that's when you're going to want to go ahead and use aluminum. Uh, you can get closer depending on certain environments, they say, uh, 800 feet from a coastline with a large bay, 400 feet from a coastline with a marsh, but good practice is 1,500 feet or further from a coastline period when it comes to a saltwater environment. Some of the exclusions of the warranty can be controlled and can't be controlled. Um, damage by mechanical or chemicals. Sometimes it can be controlled, sometimes it can't be. If it happens during shipment, that might not be within your control, but we can make sure that we don't use these materials in a chemically harsh environment. Anytime a panel is roll formed with too tight of a bend, it, bends are listed in the warranty paperwork themselves, but that can uh, crack or rupture the steel in the forming process, whether it's portable roll formed or factory made. Other things are dissimilar metals. You don't wanna use products that have a corroded, corrosive reaction with metal on your roof system. So dissimilar metals is a big thing to consider in the design portion of it. Lastly, we'll talk about is free water drainage. You wanna make sure that the water is able to get off the roof itself and your roof isn't holding water because that can create issues and cause uh, your substrate to fail prematurely. So we've talked about substrate warranties. Now we're gonna talk about the paint warranties that are applied to the different substrates. Depending on the substrate and the location of the project depends on the paint warranty that might apply to your situation. Sheffield offers a 20-year Caribbean warranty on both galvalume and aluminum, a 40-year WeatherX warranty on its SMP painted products in both galvalume and aluminum, and a 40-year transferable PBDF warranty in both galvalume and aluminum. We also offer a 25-year coastal warranty on aluminum substrates only, and a 35-year weathered series warranty on our galvalume products only. All the different paint warranties cover cracking, chipping, and peeling during the warranty time frame. It also covers chalking and fading not to exceed in a certain amount on the specified warranty time frame. That is going to depend on what paint system you're using, so it's important to read the paint warranty on the product that you're going to be using when you're designing a metal roof. A lot of your paint warranty exclusions are gonna be the same as your substrate exclusions. You know, misproper handling, uh, chemicals, dissimilar metals, aluminum substrates being installed past the water's edge, corrosive environments, and you know, not allowing proper water drainage of your metal roof system. So Sheffield offers weather type warranties on commercial projects. Uh, they range anywhere from five years to 35 years long and five year increments. There's two different types of weather type warranties. There's standard and no dollar limit. 
Standard warranties cover the cost of the installation and the materials. So say your roof is $50,000, you have $50,000 worth of coverage. A no dollar limit warranty is exactly how it sounds. There is no dollar limit to the amount of coverage you have. No dollar limit warranties are a little bit more expensive, but the coverage provided also a lot greater. During weather type warranty processes, depending on the length of the warranty, depends on how many inspections are gonna be provided by Sheffield Metals. We do have our in-house technical department. We do have our own inspectors on staff. Once a weather type warranty is submitted for, the process has gone through, installation details are approved, roof plans are reviewed to see if there's any discrepancies or problem areas that might come up during the process, and then inspections are scheduled. Uh, for your typical standard 20-year weather type warranty, there's gonna be a, a minimum of three inspections. The first one might be on site or a what we call a, a Zoom meeting or a video call to discuss the installation details and make sure everybody's on the same page and knows what is expected of them. The midpoint inspection will be your second inspection and that happens around the 50% mark. We come out, we make sure things can be installed correctly, correct any deficiencies moving forward so that the final inspection, which is the last inspection, there's not many issues and we can make sure everything's installed per what everything is agreed upon and the approved installation details. So if you're considering doing a weather type warranty project, you can also get in touch with us before the project is put out for bid. We can help you with any design considerations that might end up being problem areas uh, on the metal roof when it comes to a weather type warranty standpoint. We can help with details. You know, if you have something that might not be standard, we can help you come up with a detail that would include a warrantable condition on your roof. If you want to learn more about weather type warranties, click on this video for more information. So we hope we provided you with some useful information during your process of designing a metal roof. If you haven't checked out the other videos, please do. There's a lot of good information and we hope you find it useful. We are here for the architectural community to use as a resource. We want to provide you information and help you along with any concerns or questions you might have. Please subscribe to the Metal Roofing channel and again, don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching.